So now that you're playing, you know, one of the biggest, you know, roles for any The woman, queen of vulnerability, actually. You see, you can't <laughs> act. I mean, you do everything. You, I mean, what, are you nervous or apprehensive or worried that you have to follow, you know, Bruce Jordan? Uh, well, I follow Planet Roxy. You know, um, she's on her toes. She's good, but she's on her toes. <laughs> I'm, I am nervous about the dancing. Strangely enough, it, it's my strength. It, of, of the three, it is what I am most strong in, and it's what all my the bulk of my training is actually in dance. But it's been a long time since I've been dancing because of training spaces, and so. I don't feel as in shape as I did, you know, seven years ago. So I am a little bit concerned because it is physically extremely demanding. And that's, that's the part I'm most worried about. Any, like, fears or insecurities I have about the role itself, I know I will get, I will get to the other side. Like, I know that. Like, it's daunting right now to pick up the script and, wow, how am I going to mine all of that that's there, all of that, of everything that's in her. Charity, Hope, Valentine, and, and everything that all three of those names represent for her, you know. But the dancing, I mean, that's just sheer grin and bear. <laughs> that's just, you, I'm either going to get there or I'm not. Have you ever started rehearsals with you? No, not yet. Yeah. May 29th, I start rehearsals. And what, what would you like to bring in the subtext that's not on paper that you would like to show that are different than that. Well, uh, that's what I'm delving into now. I mean, that's what I'm focusing on now. Um, the thing that I would... A lot of people, I think, play her hard on the sleeve aspect. Um, definitely her vulnerability, for sure. Um, I, I would really like to be able to bring out a little bit more of not just her optimism, per se, but her, her intuitiveness. Um, you know, she just doesn't quit. And I think that's where her, her optimism comes from. She's not, she's not stupid. She knows. She has a very song, soliloquy, where she thinks, you know, I burned and I knew and I knew this was wrong. But she just keeps going. She never lets anything stop her from trying. And in the song, Something Better Than This, which is, you know, actually a phrase she does not coin at all. The other girl coined mm -hmm. it. And she says, me too. And they're like, you? What can you do? And she says, I don't know. Just get me out of here and I'll figure it out later. You know, she just keeps going. And I, I really... That is a strength that I think just in a casting choice I can play that. You know, I might not play the tough, rough, murderous, you know, I would need to bring something else to it as rough. But that kind of strength I know I have. And I know I have it in my own life, so I'd like to bring that. After this, what would be another role you have to conquer? This is a big mama already, so. Well, I guess the other mammoth one is casting great. That's hard. I've actually worked on that dance just for fun. Because I have a dear friend who um, worked in that show, who knows that show, uh, and was a dance actor for that show. So he knows music in the mirror. He knows the, the dance. <laughs> and even before the revi they talked about a revival, um, he had said, you know, I should teach you that. Because just when you, just working on that dance, you become a better dancer. And he was right. And it was hard. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. There's still sections of that dance. I'm always a little late. Like I'm not really on the music or the scene. It is the most challenging piece to conquer. It's amazing. Well, what you say is you're going to be one of your, you can't wait to sink your teeth into how the entire ca um, catalog of, of charity evening. What would be the one song you're, well, you can't wait to get working and just do it every night? No, they're, they're so good. All of them are so good. Because it's got it's just some great songs. I mean, you know, my friends see me now. Well, that's what I was going to say. Probably if they could see me now because, you know, all of the hat tricks and the, that's going to be real challenging. But I think the thing that I'm most excited about doing is that scene with um, Vittorio where he first brings her back and you see all that bourgeois in her and yet and the genuineness like all of the things that he he doesn't fall in love with her mm -hmm. but you know that he he loves about her when he's hanging out with her that night you know those are I can't wait 
because, you know, that's very me. I'm, I'm the bourgeois meter, actually, for all. <laughs> I'm like, I'm very simple to me. <laughs> so, well, your stop here with that, you've already opened it with it. I mean, you've already yeah, it. yeah, this will be my fourth stop, or fifth stop. So I'm not good when I get here. <laughs> this wasn't meant to be, so. You can't cut me any slack. I've already done it for a month. So. We'll, just, we'll, we'll, we'll just blame it on, on the dog. Yeah, okay. <laughs> blame it on Sophie. You're distracted. Well, thank you so much, Paige. I appreciate it. I hope you get better. Thank you. And um, everyone who's watching this, make sure you come see Paige in the wonderful production of Sweet Charity here at the Music Hall, which opens two days before my birthday. <laughs> And thank you so much. Break a leg. Not, 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 not the way Christine did, but break a leg. Right. <laughs> Mayor. <laughs> My mom always says, bust your head open. <laughs> oh. Oh, that will take your time. Thank you.